Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today we are going to make this decahedron dice with Rhino 7. Are you ready? Let's get started. In the Rhino 7, there's a new function under the new in, uh, V7 version 7 and then you have a little icon there. I will give you a list of what is new um, in Rhino. So one of the um, feature that Rhino has is the package manager. And with this package manager, uh, if you uh, go type it poly, then you should be able to see this uh, Rhino polyhedra. And what it does is it will give you um, whatever that is suitable for the Rhino 7 plugin and then you can find it here. Okay, it's really useful and then you just install it. Now I, I already installed this one and you can see I have the, once you install you see this is a little icon right here. So we're gonna click on the first one and then it will give you a little window here and then you have a lot of things to choose. So scroll it down to the decahedron over there and then we click OK. Now I want to come into the top view and snapping into the zero and just drag it out for whatever size that you want there. So I'm gonna roughly get it about like a two and a half over there. And before I click, you have the up uh, output choice you got the mesh curve or surface right so we want to pick up the surface and then if you want to color colorize if you want all right so now um you got that first one there to making the number on the top it's really hard to draw anything on the tilted angle right so none of them is not it's completely flat to the construction plane so here is, is what I wanted to do I want to pick up one of the surface and we want to create UV curve here so this one create UV curve spring up right there okay so this is the um, curve that we are going to use I'm just basically rotating 90 degree right there so that's just focus on the top view we are going to I'm going to make a rim uh, around it so the best way to do is to offset and then depends on how big you want it to I'm going to offset something like this okay um, and then after that I'm going to create a number over here so I'm just gonna go to the text and you type it one two three four five two twelve for this shape or you're gonna type it ABC or you're gonna design your own uh, symbol that's fine whichever that work for you okay so the high I'm gonna set it for 20 over there and the thickness is gonna be 4 I click OK and then that will be the number that I have okay so if you look at the right view the number is actually above zero all right so we are going to boolean it and flush to the surface so i'm going to pick up all the number here and on my rhino just type in minus four because that is how tall it is right so now we have it in the right place the second things i wanted to do is how deep i want to cut it down so i'm going to coming over here extrude it plain and straight and then I want to go down about three millimeters so you just type it three and make sure solid equal yes and then we'll go down like this okay so I'm gonna change this into the red color and then it's easier for you to see okay the second things I wanted to do on the top view is we need to apply both of the number and this color back to here but before we do that I need to have a reference point so I'm gonna draw a line from here to here the end point to the midpoint right and I'm gonna bring the number over there to look at it and see if that is a good size for it um, you could do something like completely inside of the shape if that were better for you. you just need to watch out all the sharp corner okay um, and then the second thing is I need to duplicate this guy right so I'm going to pick it up this guy and this guy and then I need to have a duplicate and this guy and have a duplication by going to the linear array and we want to array 12 of them that so go from here to here okay 
So next thing that we wanted to do, just arrange all the number into the right place. So I'm going to fast forward so you don't have to, you know, watch me do repeating things right there. Okay, so now I have everything done. I'm just going to move this close to my object there. Okay, so we need to apply this to this surface. The way I'm going to do is using splop. And we are going to splop this guy and this guy to that surface with this guy line. Okay, so that's snapping into the midpoint and also snapping into the end point. And we're going to come in over here. We can pick up um, any of the surface, let's say this one, and make sure your smart track is on and we want to snap in here, end point, snapping here, midpoint, and moving back to find where that midpoint is. And then move it here so now you will have this applied to it. All the red one is going to be the cutting tool and the uh, black one will be the Boolean union tool. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to repeating the process. Let me do the second one here, snapping into the end point, end point here. And then we are going to select the surface, end point here, end point here, and move your mouse back to the midpoint and click back to the end point. All right, so there's gonna be a lot of clicking, so I'm just gonna fast forward it so you don't have to see me doing slowly on all the number. And sometimes if you have a hard time to find a center, I find an easy way, just draw a line there from midpoint to the end point. And we're gonna come in over here using the splop. And we're gonna select the midpoint here, end point here. Again, this surface midpoint here, end point there. Sometimes it's faster. Okay, so once you have everything on, we are going to cutting out the shape first. So let's go to the Boolean difference. And you want to difference out this with all the red. So you want to do the Boolean difference. And you're going to pick up this surface. And we're going to pick up all the cutting tool here. Not a lamp. Not a number, just the red uh, poly surface. So I would suggest you to cut it out, maybe not all of them at once. If your computer is not running fast enough, uh, when you have a lot of bullying difference, you might crash it. Uh, so you want to maybe pick three, four at once to cut it out instead of a bunch of them. So let's do that. Uh, bullying difference, this one, this one in the back, this one. This one in the back in red color. So then we cut out all of them. Once you cut out all the red color shape, uh, before you pulling union together, let's just select everybody. Deselect this one and hiding all of them. For the better rendering, I always like to chamfer or fill out the edges. So we're going to use the chamfer edges and let's do something like 0.6 millimeter. And now I want to select everybody there all right so then uh, if you look at the render view it will be uh, nicer because you have the cut is more like a bright cut there so that's turning back with all the number and all we need to do now is boolean union so double make sure it's a closed solid poly surface and this one is ready for print. I hope you enjoy the video. Please like and comment and let me know how you like it. There are a lot more tricks and tips in the membership program. Hope to see you there. Thank you for watching and see you next.